Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Title Town, some call it, a moniker that many claim, but this city lives thanks to the Alabama Crimson Tide. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Wisconsin Badgers, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Alabama about to kick off to get things started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Wisconsin's offense will get the first crack at it here. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Hand off from the shotgun. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Fires to the right. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. You just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you can regroup because this environment is hostile. No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. So Alabama's offense has its first opportunity of the day. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. Now on second down after the good first down run. The give is to Miller. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. Really nice run there. Now, listen, you know, modern-day college football, I know it's all about spread offense and throwing the football and going up tempo and scoring quickly, but, man, you think back to Bear Bryant in Alabama, doesn't it always seem like they've always wanted to establish the run game they have always wanted to be physical bear bryant would have loved this guy in his backfield with his physical style of running man he fits that just perfect can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football and it'll be second down couldn't make the connection last time let's see if they throw it again Looking to throw, it's Milro. Quickly out on the screen to the wide receiver. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game, they pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that route. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Using the quick game. 
And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Always nice to have that security blanket of the tight end. And it's nice to have a tight end that can line up in different areas of the field, too. It's not always going to be in a three-point stance. He can sometimes be in the backfield. You could flex him out into the slot. They might even try to put this guy out at wide receiver in the split end position and see what he can do there, because this guy is a weapon. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Quickly complete. Knowing that your man can make the catch against his defender, that wasn't a big play, but it can set you up down the line to be able to take advantage. Yes, get it to him as fast as I can. When I see him open, he runs the little hitch, get it to him so he can make a little bit of yards after the catch, and eventually that little gain, he's going to bust one of those with his athletic ability. They're going to throw it again. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through him. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early. And on this opening drive for them, they're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position on the field now. If you're on defense, you got to be ready for a shot throw into the end zone. To the ground. He's got it again. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The run from the shotgun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down to throw. It's Milrow. Let's it fly. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. Man, that is so good. There's not a lot of room to work over there on the sideline in the end zone, but he was able to control his body, catch the football, make sure he had a foot down inbounds. It doesn't get any better than that. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. A 69-yard touchdown drive, and they get it into the end zone with a 6-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it out. It's Anthony. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Power football with the run. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that seemed a little off from the start, didn't it? That was a big-time play, and it was off from the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. Off play action. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. 
play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. The Badgers will line up to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets it away from his own end zone. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The tied offense rolls onto the field. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball? Mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse. That Hit the afterburners, kid. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. They'll give it to him again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. Second down coming up. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Lots of time left and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Bunch formation trying to spring a guy free. Miller with the ball. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Goodness, that is the way you blow up a play quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hair on fire, cause direct. That had to be a blown assignment. A little less room to work with now as the ball's at the 28 and it's third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He's got it and still on his feet. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor. Using a timeout here, thinks the call is going to end up going his way. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge, and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. Alabama comes to the line with a first and goal. On the move, it's Milrow. Fires to the end zone. And he's on his way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And this offense right now, they are doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of. And they've done that so far here today. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field, get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter, David. I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some rhythm. They got to establish something, and you're right. You'll wear your defense out, continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense, you're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game.
keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll run play action. Unloads it left. He can't make the grab. It's incomplete, but there is a flag, and I believe this is going to be pass interference. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Fights off a defender. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself. At the end of the day, it's a tackle for him. Uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Running back searching for a hole. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. And the Badgers are in the hurry up. They go to the draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Badgers will punt it away on fourth down. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Here comes that Alabama offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. And, the and he breaks into the open. Oh, what a move! And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after a terrific run. Big play in the running game for this offense. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. You want to talk about flipping the script. They just did that with a huge play, and now they've got it first and 10 in plus territory. Quickly complete. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. The give out of the gun. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and ten. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. This defense is going to have to make some adjustments here at halftime because they have been taken advantage of deep down the field in the passing game. They've already given up two TD passes. That was almost number three, and we're only in the first half. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Offensive line will take you to the Hallelujah Land. 
And, and I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang. And the pass is intercepted. Didn't really have room to operate on the return, but he hands him the ball at the 32. And this ball looks like it just got away from the quarterback. I think he made the right decision. He was going to the receiver that seemed open, but just not very accurate on the throw, and that leads to the interception. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. Quarterback on the keeper. As an offense, you're okay with that. You're going to run option plays, and sometimes you're going to bust it big, but sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. Now on second down. Flag flies in as this one falls incomplete. We'll see who it's on. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Here comes the offense on second down. To the air, it's Milrow. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. And that one is picked off in the end zone. You got to be sharp in the red zone. You, you can't turn the football over in the red zone. You got to be crisp. You got to be on time. You can tell the QB wasn't on time. The defender made him pay. Nice interception, stealing points now off the board. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. On second down, he's looking downfield. Snagged in the middle, it's green. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They've been overwhelmed so far in this first half, but if they could muster a score, maybe a glimmer of hope. 
Yeah, and I know it's been a struggle. They, they've been struggling this whole game, but let's get something positive going into halftime. Coaches won't yell at you as much, but they got the first first down. Now let's put the pedal to the floor, go a little faster, cut into this lead. Looking left. It's caught. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, they've done nothing on offense so far, but if they can put some points on the board before halftime, it could really change things. No doubt. Go into the locker room with some good juices, some good vibes, and, and momentum can switch a game in a heartbeat. But this offense hasn't had much to cheer about yet. That play gives them one play. Now let's go build on it and make something happen before the half. Can hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Scanning the field, it's Van Dyke. He makes the connection. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Passing game, very effective on second down. What about here on third? Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. And it's no good after the missed field goal still down by 21 points, guys. The tied offense rolls onto the field. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. But for this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here and lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. He wants to throw here on second down. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Miller. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. The offense will quickly use a timeout. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Alabama! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. Just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. 
And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that said, let's send it back to the guys at Bryant-Denny Stadium. And the Badgers will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it back looking for help. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Here comes that Alabama offense. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. Really good job making a play, getting it out to the 24 and moving those chains. First and 10 from their own 24-yard line. Catch in the middle, it's Prentice. I really like the slot receiver. I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Wants to throw. It's Milrow. Finds his tight end. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Fires to the tight end. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Great job by the quarterback there. He saw the safety bite on the run fake. So as the safety comes running downhill, he now knows he has the slant throw to his receiver on the outside. The Tide with the first and ten. The give is to Miller. Brings him down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a first down for this offense. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. And they might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit him with a big run, now they hit him with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. Got it in the middle, it's Adams. That completion takes him down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. 
looking to the end zone on third and goal. Touchdown, Bama! And the beatdown has ensued. Great execution on offense, and you know you're expecting man coverage in this area of the field, down close to the line of scrimmage, so the receiver has got to be able to win one-on-one, -on -one, and he did just that on that TD. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Henry. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way, and when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. Determined run, but he stopped after two yards down at the 13. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but... If you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Looking for a man. It's Van Dyke. Unloads to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Still on his feet at the 45. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. The Badgers are moving quickly down the field. Give to the running back. Nice move to pick up yardage. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. Looking for a crease, it's Malusi. And the Badgers are stopped, but not before getting the first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and ten. Might as well give it to him again. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. It's drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Back to throw, it's Van Dyke. He's got his man. And they bring him down quickly, but a good game there. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They're setting up the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. 
Well, they get the running back screen. It seemed like they caught the defense off guard a little bit, David. How does that feel for you as a pass rushing defensive end when they run that play on you in that situation? It's so demoralizing because your eyes get big as saucers. It's like sack time, sack time. Oh, no, no. He just fooled me. They let me go up the field. I didn't really beat my guy that bad. Nice job of letting him come up the field, throw right behind him, and get the first down. Finally stopped at the 20-yard line after a pickup of six. A lot of times it's hard to see those linebackers coming down late and blitzing through a gap. The offense did a really nice job getting a hat on a hat, blocking up front so the running back could get some positive yards. They'll run it from the gun. Yeah. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. They've been really good moving the chains on third down. Now one yard away from another first down on this drive. They'll try to get it through the air. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game playing all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. I'll tell you what, it gets late in the football game, man. I got to start being aggressive. When, I, when I'm in a hole and, and the clock's running out, like, it's going to make me have to throw the football, be more aggressive. And this offense doesn't come through for their team, and now they're going to really need their defense to get some stops here in this football game in the fourth quarter. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Miller with the ball. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Man, oh man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way. At least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have any. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll try the outside to the left. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. The play action fake. Quick strike complete. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers, I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. They'll try to get the first through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Pauly. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. The Badgers have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Makes the grab. It's green. You'll take this every time, five yards on the first down play. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. 
That completion leaves us with second and medium. The aerial assault continues. He's got an open man. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, this offense has not put their best product on the field today. They've got no points to show for any of their efforts so far, but they've still got a chance. But if it's going to happen, it has to happen now in this two-minute situation. This is where their playmakers need to step up. Quickly out to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Looking downfield, it's Van Dyke. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. Well, a lot of things haven't gone right for him. You saw an incompletion right there. It's been offense. It's been defense. They just haven't been able to click and get into a rhythm here. And now they're playing catch up. And you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the fourth quarter. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free. And fourth down is coming up. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two minute warning. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Line getting set on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. they got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Fast motion from the offense. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And the offense comes up short on third down. But I tell you what, they've still had a good day. There, there's so many positives to point to. I'll be interested to see if they go for it here on fourth down. They don't have to. They got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, shown a variety of all kinds of things. Now it's just about how they want to finish. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. On the run, it's Van Dyke. Finds the tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. They've got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. 
They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Fires to the right. He makes a catch. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. And the Badgers come to the line with a new set of downs. Got it behind the line. It's Malusi. And he has run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Let's see what they've got on second down. Now the play fake. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. After this, it'll be a wrap. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. It's complete. And they fight him to the bitter end, all the way down to putting some more numbers in the stat column, but they'll come up a little short as time expires. 